All right, guys. So another week, another trip. So I'm back on the road. I'm actually headed to Oakley, Georgia this time. I'm going to Camping World there and going to actually be camping there at Camping World tonight. So I'm excited for that. But the main goal of this trip is to actually purchase an RV, specifically a travel trailer. And I know this is something I haven't shared with the channel yet, uh, but it's always been a big part of my plan. I essentially kind of trying to do this nomadic life. I, I wanted to start by getting a truck, adding a camper shell on it, and then building that out so I'd have a full overland rig. And on top of that, I wanted to add a travel trailer, something that I can pull and use as a full-time base station for me and the dogs to live comfortably out of. I also work full-time. Uh, I am working full-time remote though. Uh, but yeah, again, this will serve as my office as well. So I've got a, a travel trailer in mind. Uh, Camping World's holding it for me right now. So I'm heading down to do the, the walk around tomorrow. And if everything works out, I'll pull the trigger and yeah, the rest will be history. So I'm really excited for that. It's uh, nothing crazy. It's a about a 25 foot Jayco travel trailer. Uh, been researching these for a while. This model kind of fits all my needs and I really like the floor plan. It's got a couch, a dinette, and then a queen bed that has some separation. And that's what I was really looking for. You know, kind of a, still have a little private space away from the dogs. Um, and then obviously probably turn the dinette into a desk. But yeah, so on the way down there now, uh, the left probably gonna get there at about 11.50, 12 o'clock tonight, camp, get up, tour it, work tomorrow. Uh, and then yeah, hopefully pull the trigger and they'll prep it and have it ready for me on Saturday to take home. So I'm really excited for this. Look at that, big old peach. There we go. Georgia. Woo. Almost there. Just got off the highway. I'm right down the road from Camping World. Gonna make a quick pit stop to use the bathroom. So I looked out the pilot welcome center that I stopped at is actually really clean, super nice inside. So gonna go ahead and get ready for bed here. Uh, you know, wash my face, brush my teeth, all that so that I can finish out the 10 to 15 minute drive down the road to Camping World, pop up the tent and just be ready to go to bed. Just keep it super simple. Woo, yeah, nothing like a uh, quick sink bath at a truck stop bathroom. <laughs> Have you feeling real clean? All right, made it to Camping World. Probably gonna pull over in the corner and just camp up against the trees. Looks like the best spot. Good sized lot though. So quickly realized that backing up over there, I was gonna hit the limbs from these trees 
once I actually popped up the tent. So moved over here and pulled in forward and this should work out fine. All set up and ready to go. Time for bed. And here you go. Tonight's accommodations. Five star all around. Also, cushions are finally done. So the camper, I'd say, is maybe 97% done now. Just still need to finish up the sink. But uh, yeah, these look great. My grandmother actually sewed this material on by hand, so I owe her so much for that. Um, these turned out great. They look professionally done. The material is actually jean material from Wrangler. We have a family friend, she used to work at Wrangler and she got a ton of extra material for free. Gave it to my grandmother and that's what was used on these. So it's really strong material. Uh, it's really going to help with the Huskies when they're up here so that their claws don't go through and tear up the actual foam underneath. I'm still going to put a fitted sheet layer on top of these as well. That'll be washable. But for now, this jean material is fixed on there and it looks so good. Uh, I'm really, really happy with how that turned out. So again, I, I owe my grandmother a ton for that. I hope her hands are okay after having to go in and sew all this by hand. Uh, but yeah, with that said, I'm going to head to bed now. morning just packed up my bed got all the sheets and blankets back in there uh, it was actually raining for the last two hours but finally stopped so time to start the day it's about 8 a.m gonna run and use the bathroom somewhere and get ready and log in for work and yeah then i'll come back and take a look at the rv Quick stop at Publix. All right, here we go. God, this thing is so nice. 
dinette, couch, wraparound windows. Got microwave, oven, stove, bathroom, good size with a skylight, and queen bed in the back. So the Jayco ended up being perfect. It was well worth the drive. It was everything I was looking for in the layout, dinette, couch, separate area for the queen bed. And then also having a shower that I can actually stand in at, you know, I'm roughly like 6'1", 6'2". So I didn't want to be hunched over and cramped in it. So really excited about this. I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger on it. Uh, they're getting it prepped and fully ready for tomorrow. I'll pick it up at 11 a.m., do the final walkthrough. And yeah, from there I'll be a travel trailer owner. So yeah, big decision, but I think it's gonna pay off in the long run. And for today, I'm just working. I'm back on the clock. So I'm over in a Starbucks parking lot. I've got the tent fully popped up and just sitting back here, cranking out emails and knocking out a few other work projects for the day. Was hoping I could go over to the lake and check out that area um, right by Lake Sydney Lanier. But unfortunately it's raining. If that stops, uh, I might try and make moves over there though. But yeah. I'm gonna get back to it. Uh, I've got a lot to knock out for the weekend um, and I don't wanna come back to a full inbox on Monday. The remote setup today in the uh, Starbucks parking lot really isn't bad though. So much space and again, can't thank my grandmother enough for covering these up. These look great, the material feels awesome and it's definitely gonna withstand a lot. So really pleased with that. And here's one more angle for your viewing pleasure, just so you can see the full layout. There's actually a KFC over here too, so I can jump out real quick and run over and grab some food and then come finish back up. <laughs> And back to work we go. Look at that. That's the definition of stealth camping right there. <laughs> Life of luxury right here. Relocating from the beautiful Starbucks and KFC parking lot down here to Lake Sydney Lanier. See if we can find a spot. Gonna first check out Old Federal Park. It's right here on the water. Oh, there's a big camper in there. Look, these houses are awesome. Back up right to the water. Not a bad view. Right, got me a little spot up here. Thinking about jumping in the water now. But nobody else is in here. Which is always a little ominous. But it is September. And it's after five. Put my trunks on, but actually gonna hold off on jumping in for a sec. I was reading online, there's all these issues with the pollution levels, I guess, in Lake Lanier this year uh, being really bad. And I, I haven't seen anybody in the water. There's a ton of boats going by, but nobody's doing water sports or getting in. And I just checked around here and there's no shower, so I wouldn't be able to rinse off. Usually I'm never bothered by anything like this. You know, like I see water, I'm just jumping in. <laughs> I've showered in many a river and lake and stuff like that, you know, so I, I don't really have a problem with it, but not having anything to hose off with after is a little rough, so i um, going to finish eating, and then maybe I'll find another spot to jump in the water where I can hose off after, because, uh, I mean, being right here in the lake and not be able to get in is awful. I, I just want to go swimming.
So just pulled around to a, another little campsite, uh, still right there on Lake Lanier. And the lady at the front was nice enough to let me in. She was like, yeah, just feel free to drive around and take a look. I'm, you can't get out of the car and stay um, since it's only for campers, but she was happy to let me at least tour it. And I told her I was down here actually looking at buying a camper and she was like, okay, well, hopefully you'll be back next year. So kind of just uh, perusing the spots right now. Oh man, look at that though. Having a spot like that right in the water would be incredible. Whew. Getting excited. Well, that worked out. Actually, there's a another family in the campsite with a slightly larger Jayco. And uh, so I pulled over and talked to them real quick because I actually thought it was the same model, the 212 QB, but it's actually a 224 BH. So it's a kind of similar to my model, but with uh, bunks, they had... Um, couple little kids and dogs with them uh but yeah they told me they loved it they were like yeah it's not the highest end camper but it i mean for its price you can't beat it and that's exactly what i'm looking for so you know always comforting to hear other people give you a good review uh yeah so that goes a long way for me making the purchase tomorrow can't wait for it all right so i saw this house earlier look how cool this is they turned the garage into an old retro gas station. That is so cool. <laughs> Back at the first park that I stopped at, just gonna chill here for a bit. Almost wanna take a nap and maybe do something tonight. And then, uh, yeah, pick up the camper in the morning. So just chilling and enjoying the view right now. But man, this is so tranquil. It's like a sounds like one of those guided meditation videos almost just the uh the water lapping in over the uh the beach down there just kind of driving around i'm actually over in flowery branch georgia now really pretty area this is the uh historic downtown part Oh, and this is the uh, caboose that I saw online that they're they're known for. It's like the main attraction, Farmers Market Alley. Looks like everything is pretty much closed, though. Yo, check these tacos out. All right, I am back at Camping World. Finished up dinner, came straight back here and got into bed because I'm exhausted. I can barely keep my eyes open. So with that said, I am passing out and then tomorrow will be the big day, picking up the camper. Today's the big day. Beautiful morning, no rain. Oh man, looking rough this morning. But yeah, today's the big day. Gonna go get washed up and uh, get some breakfast and get this travel trailer and learn to tow it. <laughs> All washed up now, so I don't look quite as crazy. But uh, the guys at Camping World, they recommended two places to eat this weekend, uh, Big Burrito and Loretta's Kitchen. So had Big Burrito yesterday and now I'm actually gonna go over to Loretta's and get a uh, chicken biscuit. So I'm excited for that and kill some time. And then, yeah, 11 a.m. is pickup time. Chicken biscuit has been acquired. These biscuits look good, handmade too. Well, small hiccup this morning. I am at discount tire because there's a nail in my tire right before picking up the trailer. So I gotta get that fixed real quick. Um, and it's right on the edge, but hopefully it'll hold air and get it patched up. Yep. There she is. Fingers crossed. What a hectic morning. All right, got the car back. They did a great job. Discount tire saved me. There ended up being a small nail right on the edge of the tire you know right there in I guess kind of that red zone area where they usually don't fix it they were able to fix it luckily um and it held air 
they got it plugged up for me and they did it all this morning i i got there a little after nine and it's 10 uh, a little after 10 now they were able to get it all fixed up um everywhere else was slammed it told me they couldn't even look at a tire today so huge shout out to these guys uh they also did it for free um i left the guy a tip because i i mean i felt bad i was like there's no way i can't pay for this you guys are are awesome um so yeah it left him a little tip and definitely gonna try and leave him a review online at least um but yeah the uh discount tire shop down here in oakwood georgia kudos to you guys man that, that was awesome um definitely saved the day and now i can go get my camper <laughs> so that's where i'm about to head after i get gas and here we are camping world for the final pickup A little home for the weekend. Just finished up at Camping World. I've got the trailer all hooked up and it's good to go. Uh, so yeah, getting on the road and heading back to North Carolina and I'll do more of a uh, video uh, kind of in-depth tour when I get back home. But yeah, super excited, crazy day. <laughs> First time towing, gotta go four hours in the rain. This is how it would work out. <laughs> God. Insanity. <laughs> Got that big rolling turd attached. <laughs> Thing is massive. There you go. Back in North Carolina. Towed it already across Georgia and South Carolina. <laughs> Back in the home state. Okay, just pulled into my grandparents' neighborhood. That's where I'm gonna be parking it for now. Uh, so, <laughs> gonna see how it is backing it into their driveway. Their driveway is luckily wider than the driveway of my family's house. So, should be a bit easier, but I'm still a novice, so we're gonna figure it out. And I think my whole family is over there to see me attempt this and also see the new travel trailer. So this is gonna be hilarious. Also didn't too too bad with the gas mileage and I think with some wind flares I can definitely get that down more but I was averaging a little under 12 so about 11.3 is what I finished out at um, and that's driving all the way over 300 miles from Georgia back to North Carolina. <laughs> yeah, there's the whole family. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back in the uh, RV and was fun. Uh, that's gonna take some getting used to, uh, but everything's locked up, stored for the night, showed my family it, uh, walked them around, gave them the lowdown and everything. They were super excited about it. They wanna use it for football tailgates. So might see about that uh, maybe this month or next month. Uh, just a little nervous about pulling into a crowded tailgate lot and trying to maneuver that thing, but I got to figure it out at some point. Uh, but yeah, I think that pretty much does it for this video. Heading back home now to pass out and yeah, play my first adventure with it from there. But uh, yeah, thank you guys as always for watching and take care everyone.